Nearly a quarter of a billion years ago, an otter-sized armored platypus-faced marine reptile paddled in the tropical lagoons on the shores of islands that would later become southern China. This weird species of reptile is known as Eretmorpheus and is part of a diverse and extinct lineage of animals that was restricted to those islands and only a few million years. Today, no animal life looks quite like the duck-billed platypus, a semi-aquatic egg-laying mammal. But about 230 million years ago, something very similar swam in the shallow seas of what is now China, finding prey by touch with the cartilaginous bill. Eret Morpheus is an extinct genus of Hupasuchia marine reptiles from the early Jurassic. It is currently known from four fossil specimens. Hupasuchians were a peculiar group of marine reptiles that are known only from the lower Jurassic rocks in China. Most of the earliest marine reptiles belong to Ichthyosaur morphia, a clade that would eventually give rise to the fish-shaped ichthyosaurs by the late Middle Jurassic. In its early history, Ichthyosaur morphia comprised of a peculiar group of marine reptiles called Hupasuchia, the sister taxon to the main clade Ichthyosaur forms. Eret Morpheus and their close relatives the Ichthyosaurs emerged and diverse rapidly in the aftermath of the largest extinction in Earth's history, the Permian Triassic extinction, when over 95% of all species were wiped out. The rapid emergence of different marine and terrestrial reptile groups after the extinction is an example of adaptive radiation. After mass extinctions, surviving lineages diversify at an accelerated pace because they are unconstrained by competition. Hupasuchians lived where most of the Earth's continents were joined together in a single continent called Pangaea, but their homeland was not a part of this landmass. Instead, the land that would become central and southern China was a group of large islands surrounded by tropical seas, much like modern Indonesia and the Philippines. They flourished in the warm shallow seas off these islands, only to become extinct in the first five million years of the Jurassic period. The skulls are unusually small. They have small eye sockets and a flattened toothless bill. They bear an uncanny resemblance to living platypuses. And like platypuses, the upper and lower jaws are made of a thin bony rods surrounded by cartilage. The rest of Eret Morpheus is just as weird, but in different ways. Above the spine are large triangular humps of bone. The ribs, tail, and torso vertebrae are incredibly thick and would have made the body stiff. The arms and legs were modified into paddles and provided the only means of locomotion. The weird combination of small eyes, toothless bill, and stiff body has led scientists to believe that Eret Morpheus filled an unusual role in the early Jurassic marine ecosystem. They concluded that it probably hunted small invertebrates in the murky water while relying on touch. Extremely small eyes like those of Eret Morpheus are not found in vertebrates that rely on sight to hunt. The itty bitty eyes in particular might offer some clues about the natural history of Eret Morpheus. Animals with such small eyes often live in low light conditions and may rely on other kinds of signals to go about their essential business like finding food. The question is what Eret Morpheus did if it wasn't relying on sight. Fossils show that the reptile skull had bones that would have supported a bill of cartilage. Like modern platypuses, there is a large hole in the bones in the middle of the bill. In the platypus, the bill is filled with receptors that allow it to hunt by touch in muddy streams. In the early Jurassic, the area was covered by a shallow sea about a meter deep, over a carbonic platform extending for hundreds of miles. The fossils of Eret Morpheus were found at what were deeper holes or lagoons in the platform. Soft tissues are not preserved in fossils, so it is impossible to explicitly test which non-visual scent of Eret Morpheus may have been enhanced. Still, extra sensitive hearing, tasting chemical signals through the water, and extra sensitive smell are unlikely, given that the anatomical markers for those traits are absent or are just not preserved. There are no fossils to show what Eret Morpheus ate, but it likely fed on shrimp, worms, and other small invertebrates. Eret Morpheus evolved to be an Ordicity within a group of Ordicities, and we're clearly just getting to know what this unusual animal was. Each new discovery sheds more light on these intriguing and mysterious animals. Future finds will surely help paleontologists understand the origin, diversity, and disappearance of these weird marine reptiles. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe.